Hey y'all, welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda and today is I think day six of the potato saga. So we haven't been putting up potatoes for the last couple of days. So we've skipped a few days and just been eating them um, just like at meal time. So like fried with eggs in the morning or um, for lunch we might do that too or have it as a side like mashed or something like that with dinner. And so we are down to just over 50 pounds. We have one 50 pound sack we haven't touched yet. We want to get those put away. We have also put some in our pantry. I would say maybe 15 pounds or so we've put up in um, the boxes like we did when we harvested our own potatoes this spring. The only problem we have with that is that we didn't grow enough. So we had those for about three months or so and that was it. So next year we'll need to grow more. But this is a wonderful resource so that we can put up lots of potatoes in the meantime. Today we're putting up about 20 pounds or so as french fries. So I'm going to show you guys that process, what we use to cut our potatoes. My dad found this um, potato french fry cutter. It's like an industrial from like a restaurant. And he made this jig for it and it's working wonderfully. I'm going to show you guys that and what our process is, how we season those, how we freeze them. And then after today, we will still have those 50 pounds to put up. I might tackle that in a few days. I'm not sure if we'll just eat those fresh or not. And I will keep you guys posted. This is the french fry cutter. You just raise this up. You put your potato here and you push it through. We're going to put a bowl underneath. Dad um, made this little jig so that these would be on something normally at like a restaurant this would be on a wall or something um, with a bowl beneath but we had to make this up so that we can actually um, put this away we'll probably store this in our shop are beautiful I love that they're all uniform lovely french fries I have a bowl full now and these are gonna go down into my water here whoops if I can get them all in there huh these will blanch for five minutes and then go into an ice water bath these just came out of the hot boiling water for five minutes I'm putting them in a cold bath I had ice in this but it's already melted so I'm gonna grab some more I'm gonna leave these guys in here for just a few minutes while I get my baking sheet ready. Okay y'all, I just took them out of this um, water bath, this cold water, and I put them on a paper towel. I'm gonna be blotting these off in a moment and then putting them in a single layer on my baking sheet here. I put parchment paper on the baking sheet and I'm gonna put layers of potatoes separated by parchment paper. And in a moment, I'm gonna sprinkle some of these with um, paprika and salt. And then we may do another tray of them with um, garlic powder. All right, now we're just drying these off and putting them in sheets. And we need some more. And we need some more. Mm -hmm. We are going to put, um, we we're just sprinkling some garlic powder on these. The others we're doing with paprika and salt. This is garlic powder and salt. I'm using a sea salt today. And as you can see, this is our second layer here. We are stacking these um, with parchment paper in between so that um, they can freeze in even layers. But I only have two cookie sheets, so this is perfect for us to be able to stack these and then put them in the freezer. Okay friends, this is what we ended up with. Two baking sheets full of french fries. These are the garlic and um, salt ones, almost like garlic and onion. And then these are paprika and salt. Each of them is four layers high. And then because I don't like to let anything go to waste, all of those tiny pieces that were at the bottom of the pot and whatnot, things that probably wouldn't make a great french fry, like that's really thin. You just have these pieces that happen. Um, especially when you're using a cutter like that. And so these, I'm just dehydrating. 
because we can use this in some other way in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you have made french fries for your freezer or if you know of any other tricks or tips, be sure and list those in the comment section. We can all learn from each other here and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye y'all.